have a new light to show you today. This is the PRG Photon, uh, F-O-T-O-N light. It is tungsten balanced and it has a very high CRI, color rendition index, 95 CRI. So it's a very true color to this light. Uh, you have a dimmer on it and when you dim, it does not change color at all. In addition, when you dim, it also does not flicker at all, which is not true for a lot of different types of technology. So we actually put it to the test, took one of our high-speed phantom cameras, went to a hundreds of thousands of frames a second, absolutely no flicker, it does not flicker at all. And this light comes with, for control, you have, in addition to the dimmer, you have these uh, barrels which have different reflectors in them, and so you have different beam spreads, and it's simple, wide, medium, spot, control, very easy to, to switch between. And this is all included as a kit uh, with the light. And what's really interesting about this light is what is creating the illumination from it. So if I dim this well, all the way down, you'll see there's a little disc here about the size of a quarter. That is not diffusion over the light source. That's the light source itself. This is a sapphire crystal that is impregnated with phosphorescent material, rare earth elements, uh, that when they are electrically excited, they glow. Uh, and that's where the light source comes from. So as I dim this up, you can see, I'll do it just a little bit, and you can see that this is actually the light source. And I'm up, uh, I'm up a teeny bit, so I can, you know, it gets, whoops, hit the light switch. <laughs> it gets quite bright. And, uh, Phosphorescent lighting uh, has been used uh, for quite a number of years. Uh, fluorescent lights are based on uh, phosphorescent lighting. The, the, the glass tube is coated on the inside with a phosphorescent material and it gets electrically excited and it glows, uh, as well as LED lights. Most people don't realize that uh, for the most part we don't look at a, directly at an LED light. We have an LED emitter and then there's a phosphor coating that they use to then control the color that they want out of it. But, you know, you think about it, how many grains of sand can you fit on the head of a pin? And uh, also you have heat management issues with an enclosed light uh, source so that you can only use certain types of phosphors and over years it can actually shift in color. Well, this is remote phosphor lighting. That means that you have this phosphor phosphorescent surface and it is physically separated from the driver that is behind it here, which makes it illuminate. In the case of the Photon, they actually are using a, an LED light source, an engine, if you will, to, to drive this phosphorescent surface. But uh, it's not an LED light. This is a very different type of technology. By separating them, they're able to use different types of phosphorescent grains. They uh, can mix the color very, very accurately. So like I said, it's 95 CRI. And, uh, and because you don't have any heat management issues, uh, you can use the different types of grains as well as it won't change color over the life of this light. And as a solid state unit, this is going to last for 50,000 hours, eight years continuous lighting. And it will be a very accurate color that will not change during the life of that light. So it's a pretty neat kind of uh, technology. Now it's uh, DC powered, so you can see it's a 12 to 36 volt little regular XLR4 connection there. Uh, 30 watts equivalent to 150 watts of, uh, of uh, tungsten light. And don't let that number fool you because based on its PAR type of uh, light here, it, you actually get very high efficiency out of that. So it's a quite a bright, a very brilliant light. Uh, you get a lot of light for that amount of power for really sipping only 30 watts of power. And if you look at this connection, this is not gonna be the, the power supply that comes with it. The included power supply will actually have an XLR4 that has a rubberized gland that wraps around that connector so that when that plugs in, you see that there's this uh, on-off switch is uh, wrapped as well and all the connections are solid. This is a water resistant light as well. Uh, DC powered, you don't have to worry, I, mean, I wouldn't go dunking it in the pool, but you can be outside in the rain all day without having to worry about uh, this light in any way, not gonna short out, it's, it's fine. It's a little DC powered light. This is the PRG Photon 
It is remote phosphor technology, which you're going to, in the coming years, you're going to see a lot of this. This is going to be this is a very interesting type of technology. It comes with the three different barrels, wide, medium, and spot. Comes with an AC power supply with the gland. Uh, complete kit available exclusively from Abel Cine.